Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Timur Rajabov and Vishy Anand. This is a game from the World Blitz Championship played in Israel in 2006. Timur Rajabov had white pieces and he started with e4. Vishy Anand played c5, knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6. The neither of variation. White move in this position, white can play many different moves. Rajabo played the most played move. Bishop to g5, e6, f4, and now queen to b6, attacking the pawn on b2. This is known as the poisoned pawn variation. I have seen both Fischer's and Kasparov's games. When they played this with black pieces and they won, but they had to defend very well. White to move, knight to b3 and the queen to d2 are the two most played moves. Rajabo played queen to d2. Queen takes on b2, taking the poison pawn. Rook to b1, queen to a3. White to move, in this position f5 and e5 are the two most played moves. Rajabo played e5. D takes on e5, f takes on e5, knight from f to d7, knight to e4, h6. Let's take it back. How about winning that pawn on e5? If knight takes on e5, there was a game like this between white and Batagia in 2003. Lucky that white had white pieces, otherwise we would be confused. The game went like this. Knight to b5, threatening check mate on d8, knight to d3, check, bishop takes on d3, pawn takes knight, bishop takes on b5, check, knight from b to d7, white castled and went on to win the game. Back to our game. Anand played h6, attacking the bishop, bishop to h4, black to move. Queen takes on a2 is the most played move. Knight to c6 is played quite often too. Queen to a4 was played. White move. This position was seen before. And perhaps Anand knew about that game. In this position, white played c4. Black played knight to c6 and black won after only 23 moves. In this position, instead of c4, Rajabo played bishop to e2, black to move. If knight to c6 works against c4, it should work against bishop to e2. What do you think? Maybe even better now. After knight to c6, there is a pressure on the white knight on d4. Well, that is what Anand thought. This is now the most interesting moment of the game. Why to move? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? If white plays c3, defending the knight, black may take on e5, or even play bishop to a3, and black is okay. Back to our game. There was a surprise. Rajabo played, are you ready to see the move? Knight takes on e6. What a move. And that is a blitz game. g5 was played. This is the problem. If f takes on e6, this would work. If at move 14, white played c4, but white played bishop to e2, and white wins just like this. Check. And after g6, bishop takes pawn. Check. Mate. Back to our game. To avoid this check mate, Anand played g5. Two of the white pieces are hanging. Which one? To save. What would you do? Many times, Mikhail Tal had a position like this. Please pause again and find the best move for white. You do not pause. Okay, let's do it this way. While you are thinking, I will be talking. 
And when I finish my talk, you will find a solution. If you want to be great, you have to play against a strong opposition. You need to defeat the giants. But before you defeat the giants, some hard work is required. Do you agree? And there is this saying, the more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. And by now, I hope that you found this move. Knight to f6 check. This is what Rajabo played and Anand resigned. If knight takes knight on f6, then knight to c7 check, and after king to e7, queen to d6 check mate. And what else? If king goes to e7, then queen to d6 check mate. That was an amazing achievement by then young Timur Rajabov. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.